The torch sputtered in Samantha Ray's hand, casting eerie shadows on the damp stone walls of the ancient Greek temple. Her heart pounded against her ribs, each step into the gloom taking her further from the world she knew and closer to a relic that could change everything. She could feel it calling to her, the artifact of Ares, god of war, an amulet imbued with the power to make its bearer invincible. For centuries it had remained hidden, the stuff of myths and legends. Until now. Samantha's fingers tightened around the worn leather of her satchel, the faded map inside her only guide. A map left to her by her father, a man consumed by his obsession with the artifact, an obsession that had ultimately claimed his life. Now, here she was, following in his footsteps, driven by a need for answers, for closure. And if she was being honest with herself, for the thrill of the chase, the rush of discovery. But she wasn't the only one hunting the artifact. A shadow detached itself from the far wall, materializing into a painfully familiar form. Samantha froze, the hairs on the back of her neck rising. Hello, sister dear. Nicholas. Dodon. Her uh, brother. D. Her uh, betrayer. Here to claim their father's legacy for himself, no matter the cost. You shouldn't have come, Samantha said, proud of the way her voice remained steady. The artifact is too dangerous. Nicholas smiled, the torchlight glinting off the cruel twist of his lips. Oh, Samantha, always so naive, so noble. He began circling her slowly, a predator toying with his prey. You have no idea of its true power. But I do. I won't let you take it. Samantha's hand slipped to the holster at her hip, curling around the reassuring grip of her pistol. I swear to God, Nicholas, Nicholas. You'll what? Shoot me? He laughed, the sound echoing hollowly off the stone. You and I both know you don't have it in you. Try me. Samantha raised her chin defiantly, pulse galloping. Nicholas paused, studying her like a serpent contemplating its next strike. Then quick as a flash, he lunged. Samantha reacted on instinct, leaping back as a blade hissed through the air where her throat had been a moment before. She stumbled, dropping the torch, plunging them into suffocating darkness. She could hear Nicholas moving, the scrape of his boots against stone. She groped for her gun but it was too late. A massive force barreled into her, knocking her off her feet. Her head cracked against the ground and stars exploded behind her eyes. Dazed, she felt the map slip from her bag. Heard Nicholas's grunt of satisfaction as he snatched it up. It's over, Samantha, he hissed in her ear, so close she could smell the tang of his sweat. The sharp edge of the knife kissed her neck as he hauled her roughly up. The artifact will be mine. And you, you're coming with me. You've seen what I'm capable of. And that's only the beginning. Then something struck the back of her skull and the world went dark. Nicholas's low laughter chasing her down into oblivion. Consciousness returned to Samantha in fragments, the coppery taste of blood on her tongue, the rough scrape of rope around her wrists, the stale chill of dank air filling her lungs. She blinked blearily against the darkness disoriented, pain throbbing dully at the back of her skull. Where was she? What had happened? Then it came rushing back in a nauseating wave. The temple. The map. Dot I. Nicholas? Oh, God, Nicholas. She shot upright or tried to, a hoarse cry escaping her as the ropes bit into her flesh, holding her fast to what felt like a stone pillar. Panic clawed up her throat and she wrenched against her bindings, uncaring of the way they chafed and burned. Now, now, let's not be hasty. That voice, smooth and cloying as honey, froze Samantha to her core. A torchlight flared to life, illuminating the cavernous space. And there, leaning casually against a crumbling altar, was Nicholas. The map, her map, was clutched in his fist. Bastard, she spat straining futilely once more. You goddamn bastard! Is that any way to speak to your brother? Nicholas pushed off the altar, approaching her with a predatory lack of hurry. The only family you have left? 
You stopped being my family the moment you aligned yourself with him. Samantha's voice shook with barely contained fury, with the fathomless ache of betrayal. The moment you chose power over blood. Him? Ugh. One. Nicholas knelt before her, torch hovering just shy of scorching. The light threw the cruel lines of his face into stark relief. You mean our father? That lunatic was no father to us. Samantha met his gaze defiantly, even as frustrated tears stung her eyes. He cared about nothing but his delusions of grandeur. And he dragged you down with him. Nicholas sights her chin, fingers digging into her skin. Everything I did, I did for us. To secure our birthright. To make the world bow before us. His grip gentled, a grotesque mockery of tenderness. Join me, sister. Take your rightful place at my side. Together we'll be unstoppable. For one infinitesimal moment, Samantha wavered. This was her brother, her flesh and blood, the boy who'd once defended her against schoolyard bullies and soothed her nightmares. If there was any shred of that boy left. Please, she whispered, searching his face desperately. Nicholas, please. It's not too late to turn back. To be the man I know you are. Something flickered in his eyes, there and gone too quickly to interpret. Then his features hardened, shuddering closed. Oh, Samantha, he sighed, releasing her and straightening. Ever the idealist. He turned away, tucking the map into his jacket. I'll deal with you later. After I've claimed what's mine. Dread knotted in Samantha's stomach as he strode toward a gaping archway. Nicholas, wait. You don't know what you're dealing with. The artifact is cursed. Her only answer was the echoing clang of his footsteps, receding into the gloom. Frantic. She scrabbled at the ropes, fingernails cracking and tearing as she saw any amount of give. Suddenly, a hand clamped over her mouth, stifling her startled scream. Quiet, a low, accented voice breathed in her ear. Unless you want your dear brother to come back and gut us both. The hand fell away and a figure materialized out of the shadows. Tall and whipcord lean, with tousled black hair and eyes the color of a gathering storm. Dangerous, screamed Samantha's every instinct. Who the hell are you? She demanded as he produced a wicked-looking dagger, tensing for a fresh struggle. But to her shock, he began sawing at her bindings. Dominic Kane he said, gaze flicking up to meet hers. Treasure, Hunter. And your only shot at stopping your brother from unleashing hell on earth. The ropes fell away and Samantha surged to her feet, pins and needles shooting through her numb limbs. She faced Dominic warily, rubbing her chafed wrists. Why should I trust you? His mouth kicked up in a reckless grin, one that set her pulse stuttering traitorously. Darling, you shouldn't. But... Seeing as you're fresh out of options, he gestured grandly to the archway Nicholas had disappeared through. Shall we? Every rational part of Samantha screamed not to follow him into the dark. But what choice did she have? Nicholas had the map, the artifact, and a sizable head start. She needed allies, even untrustworthy ones. Fine, she gritted out, swiping the torch from the altar. But if you double-cross me? No, 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 no. Wouldn't dream of it, Dominic drawled, winking outrageously. Then his expression sobered. In all seriousness, Samantha, your brother doesn't know what he's getting into. The artifact's power is beyond imagining. If he claims it, I know. She squared her shoulders, determination burning through the dregs of fear. Which is why we're going to beat him to it. Then... After a final fortifying breath, Samantha plunged into the waiting abyss, Dominic a shadow at her heels. The tunnel seemed to stretch on forever, a gaping maw of impenetrable black. The torchlight flickered over damp, mossy stones, the air thick with the musty smell of age and decay. Samantha's heart thrummed a staccato beat against her ribs, every sense on high alert for any sign of Nicholas. Or worse. Behind her, she could hear Dominic's steady breathing, feel the heat of him at her back. It was unnerving, having him at her blind spot, but also strangely reassuring, 
knowing she wasn't alone in this devouring darkness. So, she said, just to break the oppressive silence, a treasure hunter, huh? How'd you end up on this godforsaken quest? Dominic's low chuckle sent a shiver down her spine. Same as you, I imagine. Chasing the legends. Testing my mettle against the impossible. He was quiet for a moment then, and maybe a bit of good old-fashioned revenge. Samantha glanced over her shoulder, brows knitting. Revenge? Against who? Later, do I? Dominic's tone brooked no argument. Let's focus on navigating this labyrinth and intercepting your dear brother first, shall we? Samantha opened her mouth to press further, but suddenly the ground beneath her feet shifted, crumbled. With a yelp, she pitched forward into empty air. Strong arms snagged her around the waist, yanking her back against a solid chest as the torch tumbled end over end into the yawning pit that had opened before them. It struck the bottom with a distant clatter, guttering but miraculously still alight. Samantha clung to Dominic's arm where it banded across her middle, blood roaring in her ears. That had been too damn close. All right, darling? His breath stirred the fine hairs at her nape, the adrenaline making everything seem too loud, too bright, too much. I'm fine, she managed, mortified to find her voice shaking. Carefully, she extricated herself from his hold and crouched at the edge of the pit, squinting into its depth. The chasm was only about fifteen feet deep and not too wide to jump across. But the stone walls were smooth as glass and at the bottom, spikes, Dominic said grimly, peering over her shoulder. Nasty way to go. Samantha shuddered. If he hadn't caught her. Yes, we can rule out climbing down and back up the other side. Guess so. Dominic rocked back on his heels, handsome face set in contemplation. Then his gaze cut to the curving wall of the tunnel. Think you can shimmy across that ledge there? Samantha followed his line of sight to a thin outcropping, no more than a few inches wide, hugging the wall above the pit. She swallowed hard. It would be a tight fit, with very little room for error. But it was the only way forward. No choice, she said bracingly, standing and dusting off her hands. I'll go first. If I make it, toss me the torch and follow. Dominic looked like he wanted to argue, but thought better of it at her challenging glare. As the lady wishes, he deferred with a slight bow. Taking a deep breath, Samantha pressed her back to the tunnel wall and inched sideways onto the ledge. The rough stone scraped through her thin shirt as she scuttled along, chest heaving with shallow breaths. She refused to look down, kept her gaze fixed firmly ahead. Halfway across, her foot slipped. A strangled gasp tore from her throat as she scrabbled madly at the wall, fingernails splitting, heart in her mouth. For one terrifying instant, she was certain she would fall, wind up impaled on those wicked spikes. But she caught herself, plastered against the stone like a limpet, and held on for dear life. Samantha. Dominic sounded frantic. Christ, are you... I'm okay, she called back raggedly. I'm okay. Just give me a second. Closing her eyes, she forced herself to breathe through the panic. She could do this. She had to do this. For her father. For the world. Slowly, painstakingly, she eased herself along the final few feet, nearly crying with relief when her questing toe found solid ground on the other side. She stumbled away from the edge, legs watery. Okay, she shouted to Dominic, hating the wobble in her voice. Okay, throw me the torch. A moment later, the torch arced through the air toward her. She lunged for it, snagging it awkwardly, the flames licking painfully at her fingers before she righted it. Then holding it aloft, she watched in breathless anticipation as Dominic began his own precarious journey across the ledge. He made it look effortless, his lean body moving with a tightly leashed grace. In what seemed like seconds, he was jumping down beside her, flashing a devil-may-care grin. Shall we? But Samantha barely heard him over the sudden rumbling that shook the walls, dust and pebbles raining down on their heads. What? She started, alarmed. A deafening crack cut her off. Then, to her horror, huge fissures began splitting the stone, racing along the tunnel floor. 
They had only an instant to exchange a panicked glance before the ground crumbled beneath their feet. And they were falling, falling. Samantha screamed, hands shooting out blind to grab for Dominic. Their fingers tangled as they plummeted through a whirling void, the torch spiraling away into the crushing dark. Then an almighty splash as they plunged into icy water. The shock of it forced the air from Samantha's lungs in a burst of precious bubbles. She kicked for the surface, clothes and boots dragging like lead, panic a living thing in her chest. Which way was up? She couldn't see, couldn't breathe. A hand fisted in the collar of her shirt, hauling her bodily upward. She broke the surface with a ragged gasp, choking and sputtering. Dominic bobbed beside her, treading water, his hair plastered to his head. Underground river, he sputtered, voice echoing strangely. Must have eroded the bedrock above over time. We're lucky it was here to catch us. Lucky? Samantha coughed, teeth chattering. She could barely make him out in the gloom. Where's the torch? We've lost our only light. I think we've got bigger problems at the moment, darling. As if on cue, a low, keening wail drifted through the blackness. The hairs on Samantha's neck stood straight up. That was no natural sound, no trick of the wind. Without a word, they struck out through the frigid current, clawing for an unseen bank. Samantha's heart hammered in her ears as she imagined sightless, grasping things lurking just beneath the surface. Imagined all the nightmares her father had written of in his journals coming to squirming, ravenous life. Finally, blessedly, her groping hand found a slick lip of stone, and she hauled herself out of the water, teeth gritted against the leaden weight of her clothes. She collapsed onto her back, gasping, dimly aware of Dominic crawling up beside her. For a long moment they simply lay there, fighting for breath. Then Samantha rolled to face him, a wry observation about their sodden state dying on her tongue at the look on his face. He was staring past her, eyes wide in the dark. Following his gaze, she craned her neck and felt the bottom drop out of her stomach. There, rising out of the black river on an island of jagged stone, was a massive carving. A roaring bear's head, jaws agape, and cradled in those jaws, glinting a dull, bloody crimson. The artifact of Ares. But it was what knelt before the altar that turned Samantha's blood to ice. Nicholas, she breathed. He glanced up at the sound of her voice, lips curling into a terrible smile. You're just in time, sister dear, he called, voice bouncing off the cavern walls to witness the dawn of a new era. Then, with deliberate slowness, he reached for the amulet, eyes, fever bright. No! The cry ripped from Samantha's throat as she lunged forward, arm outstretched. But it was too late. Nicholas's fingers closed around the artifact, and the world exploded in a blaze of searing, bluttered light. The light was blinding, Searing through Samantha's clenched eyelids, painting the darkness behind them an angry, pulsing red. She threw her hands up to shield her face, staggering back, a scream lodged in her throat. Through the ringing in her ears, she dimly registered Dominic shouting her name, felt his hands grip her shoulders, dragging her down. They hit the ground hard, the impact jarring her teeth, as a shockwave of energy blasted over their heads with a deafening boom. Chunks of stone rained down around them, the cavern quaking as if in the throes of a seizure. Samantha huddled against Dominic's chest, heart rabbiting painfully against her ribs. Was this how it would end? Buried in this godforsaken tomb, inches from the prize they'd sought for so long? But then, as abruptly as it had begun, the maelstrom quieted. The light dimmed to a more bearable level, the tremors fading to faint aftershocks. Slowly, Samantha raised her head, blinking spots from her vision. Nicholas stood before the altar, wreathed in a halo of pulsing crimson light. The artifact was a coal of living flame in his fist, its baleful glare reflecting in his eyes, turning them to pits of hellfire. He flexed his free hand wonderingly, a terrible smile stretching his lips as tendrils of power crackled between his fingers. I can feel it he breathed, reverent. Aries's strength, flowing through my veins. 
The world will tremble before me now. Nicholas, Samantha croaked, struggling to her feet. Dominic rose warily beside her, his grip on her arm a warning, a tether. Nicholas, please. It's not too late. You can still end this madness. Her brother laughed, and the sound echoed obscenely off the cavern walls. Madness? No, dear sister. This is glory. This is destiny. He held the amulet aloft, its bloody light painting twisted shadows on his face. With this, I'll reshape the world as I see fit. No one will stand against me. Not even you. Samantha's heart clenched, despair a leaden weight in her gut. Was he truly lost to her? Had the artifact's dark power already taken hold, warping him into something unrecognizable? Go, Dominic murmured in her ear, his breath warm on her chilled skin. Keep him talking. I'll look for an opening. Swallowing hard, Samantha took a cautious step forward, hands raised placatingly. And what about Dad? She asked, fighting to keep her voice steady. Is this what he would have wanted? You, twisted by the same evil that consumed him? A spasm of fury contorted Nicholas's features. Don't you dare speak of him, he snarled. He was a visionary, a god among insects, and they destroyed him for it. No, Nicholas. His obsession destroyed him, just like it's destroying you. Samantha advanced another step, heart in her throat. In her peripheral vision, she saw Dominic edging along the cavern wall, silent as a shadow. But you can still choose a different path. You can walk away from this. Come back to me. For a long taut moment, Nicholas wavered. The fire in his eyes dimmed, replaced by a bone-deep weariness. The amulet dipped in his grasp. Hope ignited in Samantha's chest, small and fragile as a candle flame. Was she reaching him? Then his gaze caught on Dominic's stealthy approach, and his face hardened into a mask of rage. You, deceitful witch, he hissed. You seek to bewitch me with honeyed words, even as your accomplice circles behind my back. Dominic froze, eyes widening fractionally. In a blur of motion, Nicholas rounded on him, the amulet flaring like a newborn sun. I think not. A bolt of sizzling scarlet energy burst from Nicholas's palm, streaking across the cavern. It struck Dominic square in the chest, lifting him off his feet and slamming him into the far wall with a sickening crack. No. The scream tore from Samantha's throat, raw and ragged. She started toward Dominic's crumpled form, but an invisible force grabbed hold of her, rooting her in place. Nicholas advanced on her, power crackling from his eyes, his skin. You just couldn't leave well enough alone, could you? He seethed. Couldn't let me claim my birthright in peace. Well, no more. If you're not with me, you're against me. And all who oppose me, die, will burn. He raised the amulet, hellish light gathering in its depths, building to a blinding crescendo. Samantha could only watch in horror, tears scalding her cheeks, as her death bore down on her in a tide of flames. But in that fractured heartbeat before oblivion took her, a blur of movement caught her eye. Dominic on his feet, face contorted in pain and grim determination. In his hand a glint of polished metal, the dagger he'd used to free her. With a roar that shook the stones, he hurled the blade across the cavern. It flashed end over end, straight and true as an arrow, and buried itself to the hilt in Nicholas's back. Nicholas staggered, a choked-off gasp escaping his lips. The amulet tumbled from his nerveless fingers, clattering to the ground in a spray of dwindling sparks. He clutched at the dagger's hilt, his other hand extended to Samantha, eyes wide and disbelieving. Sam. A trickle of blood leaked from the corner of his mouth. Then his legs folded and he crumpled to the cavern floor, still as death. Nicholas! Samantha's paralysis broke and she flung herself forward, skidding to her knees beside her brother's prone form. Sobs racked her chest as she gathered him into her arms, heedless of the blood soaking her clothes, her skin. His lashes fluttered, and he looked up at her, glassy-eyed a wretched parody of the little boy who used to beg her to play knights and dragons.
I'm sorry, he rasped, each word an evident agony. Sam, I'm so sorry. Shh. She smoothed his hair back from his clammy brow, vision blurring with tears. It's all right. You're going to be all right. But even as she spoke the words, she could feel him fading, could see the light dimming in his eyes, his rattling breaths growing shallower by the second. I never, never meant to. A violent shudder racked him, and he coughed, flecks of scarlet spattering his ashen lips. The artifact, it poisoned my mind, made me into a monster. I know. Samantha drew him closer, pressing her forehead to his, as if she could anchor him to this world through sheer force of will. I know, it wasn't really you. A ghost of a smile touched his mouth. You were always the best of us. The strongest. His bloody hand fumbled for hers, gripping weakly. Don't let it change you like it changed me. I won't, she whispered fiercely. I swear it. He nodded, eyelids growing heavy. Stop it, Sam. Stop Dad's mad quest. Before it destroys anyone else. A final rattling breath shivered through him. I love you. Then he went still in her arms, sightless eyes reflecting the cavern's eerie red glow. A raw, wordless keen of anguish tore from Samantha's throat. She clutched Nicholas to her chest, rocking him like a child as great, racking sobs seized her. Dimly, she registered Dominic dropping to his knees beside her, his strong arms coming around them both. For a small eternity, there was only grief. Loss as deep and cold as the river churning in the darkness. Her brother, her other half, torn from her by the same cursed obsession that had shattered their family, left nothing but ruins in its wake. When her tears were spent, Samantha raised her ravaged face to Dominic's, found her own pain reflected back at her in the gleam of his eyes. It has to end, she said. Calm settled over her like a shroud, hard-edged with resolve. We have to destroy the artifact. Shatter its hold over my family once and for all. Dominic's arms tightened around her. Then that's exactly what we'll do, he vowed. Gently, Samantha lowered Nicholas's body to the cavern floor, pressed a final kiss to his cooling brow. Then she pushed to her feet, Dominic rising with her. Together, they approached the altar where the amulet lay, pulsing sullenly in the gloom. As one, they reached for it, and the world fractured into a kaleidoscope of searing light and sound. Pain die. Blinding, all-consuming. It tore through Samantha like a thousand red-hot knives, shredding muscle and bone, igniting her nerve endings in a conflagration of agony. A scream ripped from her throat, high and keening, as the amulet's power surged through her in a relentless tide. Beside her, Dominic writhed in its merciless grasp, his cries mingling with hers, echoing off the cavern walls. It was as if the artifact was alive, a sentient thing of smoke and shadow. It bored into their minds, seeking, prodding, dredging up their darkest fears and deepest shames. Samantha saw herself as a child, cowering in a corner as her father raged, consumed by his feverish obsession. Saw her mother's once vibrant face. Worn and haggard from sorrow, from the strain of holding their fracturing family together. She saw Nicholas, bright-eyed and laughing, before the shadows took him. Before the same madness that devoured their father twisted him into something cruel and unrecognizable. The amulet latched onto her grief, her guilt, drawing strength from them. The pulsing crimson light intensified, burning through her clenched eyelids. She could feel her will fraying, her sense of self eroding under its relentless onslaught. Distantly through the haze of pain, she felt Dominic's hand groping for hers. Felt his fingers lace with hers, slick with sweat and blood, shaking but determined. Fight it, Sam, he gritted out, his voice tight with strain. Don't let it win. Don't let their sacrifices be for nothing. His words cut through the chaos howling through her mind, a lifeline in the dark. Memories rose unbidden, her father's strong arms, lifting her up, spinning her until she shrieked with glee. Her mother's gentle hands, stroking her hair as she drifted to sleep. 
Nicholas's crooked grin as they huddled under blankets, trading secrets and stories. They had loved her. Fiercely, desperately. Even at the end, lost to madness and darkness, a part of them had fought to come back to save her from the curse that had consumed them. Tears streak Samantha's face, grief and love, a searing knot in her chest. She couldn't let it all be for nothing. She wouldn't. Fixing Dominic's face in her mind, the determined set of his jaw, the unwavering faith in his eyes, she turned inward, rallying the tattered shreds of her will, drew on every ounce of strength and stubbornness that had brought her this far. A scream built in her chest, tearing from her throat in a defiant roar. No more. Power exploded from her in a blinding flare of light, pure and searing. It collided with the amulet's insidious energy in a shockwave that rocked the cavern, sending chunks of stone raining down around them. For an endless, trembling moment, the forces warred, straining against each other in a dizzying cascade of crimson and gold. Samantha gritted her teeth, pouring everything she had into the battle, her love, her rage, her unshakable resolve. And slowly, inexorably, the tide turned. The amulet's hold weakened, its sickly light flickering and dimming. With a final anguished wail that skirled off the rocks, it released them, clattering to the ground in a smoking, tarnished heap. Samantha slumped to her knees, hand still clasped, white-knuckled in Dominic's. She was shaking, lightheaded with exhaustion and spent adrenaline. But beneath it all, a fierce, wild joy kindled. They had done it. They had broken the curse's hold. She turned to Dominic, a weary but triumphant smile curving her lips. He answered with a smile of his own, pained but genuine. Then his eyes rolled back in his head and he toppled forward in a dead faint. Dominic! Samantha lunged to catch him, lowering him to the cavern floor. Her heart lurched as she saw the spreading stain of crimson soaking his shirt, the unnatural pallor of his skin. The artifact's violent backlash had reopened his wound and he was bleeding out, fast. No, 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 no. Samantha pressed trembling hands to the gash, trying vainly to stanch the hot rush of blood. Don't you dare, Dominic. Don't you dare leave me. Not now. He stirred weakly under her touch, eyelids fluttering. It's okay, he slurred, a weak attempt at his roguish grin. I've had worse. A choked laugh bubbled up in Samantha's throat, half a sob. Liar, Dot. Biting her lip bloody, she cast around wildly, looking for something, anything to bind the wound. But there was nothing. Just stone and shadow. The amulet lying in a dull, innocuous heap. Despair crashed over her, as cold and smothering as the river. She couldn't lose him. Not like this. Not when she'd just found him. This unexpected partner, friend, could have been more. Not when he'd stood by her, fought for her, believed in her when no one else had. Dominic's hand drifted up, cupping her cheek with a palm gone clammy. Sam, he breathed, voice thready. His eyes sought hers, glassy but intent. You have to destroy it. End this. She shook her head, vision blurring with desperate tears. I can't. Not without you. He huffed a pained breath, thumbs stroking her cheek. You can. You're the strongest, most stubborn person I know. You'll find a way. A ragged sob tore from Samantha's throat. She turned her face into his palm, pressing a fierce kiss to the calloused skin. Please. Please don't go. But even as she begged, she could feel him fading. His breath rasped in his chest, his fingers growing slack against her face. I'm glad it was you, he whispered. In the end, wouldn't have wanted anyone else by my side. Then his hand fell away, and his eyes slid closed, a final shuddering breath escaping his lips. A scream built in Samantha's chest, clawing its way up her throat. But before it could break free, a flicker of movement caught her eye. The amulet, pulsing with a faint, sputtering glow. 
as if in its death throes it was drawing on the last reserves of its power, and that power was flowing into Dominic in tendrils of faint crimson light. Barely daring to breathe, Samantha watched as the tendrils sank into Dominic's chest, limbing him in a hazy red aura. For a long, airless moment, nothing happened. Then, miraculously, the flow of blood began to slow, then stop. Color crept back into his ashen cheeks. His chest rose and fell, breath evening out into the steady rhythm of sleep. A wild, impossible hope surged in Samantha's chest. With shaking fingers, she felt for a pulse at Dominic's throat, and nearly wept when she found it. Weak and thready, but undeniably there. The amulet gave a final, convulsive flare, then went dark. Lifeless. As if in resurrecting Dominic, it had expended the last of its ancient, arcane energy. For a long, shivery moment, Samantha simply knelt there, cradling Dominic's head in her lap. Then, on a choked sob of relief, she gathered him to her chest, pressing her face into his hair. He was alive. Impossibly, miraculously alive. But even as joy and exhaustion threatened to drag her under, she knew their trials weren't over. Not yet. They still had to find a way out of this dank pit. Still had to give Nicholas a proper burial, lay the ghosts of her shattered family to rest. And the amulet, even drained, she couldn't risk it falling into the wrong hands. It had to be destroyed, the cursed cycle broken once and for all. But those were worries for another time. For now, all that mattered was the steady thrum of Dominic's heart against hers. The rise and fall of his chest, the soft puff of his breath against her neck. Slowly, wearily, Samantha raised her head, cast one last, mournful look at Nicholas's still silent form. Then, with a grunt of effort, she heaved Dominic over her shoulders in a fireman's carry. Straightening under his weight, the amulet clutched tight in one fist, she turned to face the dark maw of the tunnel ahead, drew a deep, steadying breath of the dank, stale air. Then, drawing on the last reserves of her strength, Samantha began the long, limping journey back to the light.